Hey guys, I wanted to thank you for uh, coming to my blog again and uh, you know coming just to learn a little bit more about uh, some of the things that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, one thing I wanted to talk about, you know, which uh, I've been having a lot of questions from my team is, is uh, how do you get people to the information that you're trying to get them to see? It could be your business, it could be your affiliate program, whatever it might be. You're trying to get them there, and you're having a hard time. Uh, I want to be able to help you once and for all with that problem. Uh, what I do when I get somebody on the phone that I haven't talked to, um, you know, it might be a cold call, it could be whatever it might be, um, I get them on the phone. The first thing I ask them is, you know, I get to know them a little bit, but then I say, hey, John, um, are you in front of a computer right now? And they say yes or no. Depending on what they say from that point, um, I'll decide on how far I want to go with that conversation. Usually if they say no, um, I try to get to know them a little bit better and I ask them, so when do you think you'll be in front of a computer? And then they tell me, oh yeah, you know, I'll be in front of this day. And I say, well, you know, that'll probably be a better time to give you a call back. Let's set up a time and give you a call back then. So what I want them to do is, you know, we play to win. You know, we're not playing to lose, that type of thing. You can set up another time to talk to that person. You don't have to be desperate for anybody that has a pulse. So uh, usually most people say, yes, I am in front of the computer. Um, I say, great. Um, you see that uh, search engine bar? Go ahead and type in this address, uh, www.youryour.newplana, all one word, dot com. Let me know when you see the guy on the screen, he's going to start talking. And then you should be able to hear that in the background, uh, or whatever kind of page you have. You should know exactly what the page looks like. And then once they get there, um, you say, great, okay, go ahead and pause that. Now, John, this is what's going to happen. Go ahead and fill out the information on that, on that page with your name, your number, email, phone number. Um, and again, you know, this is something that I personally have. It's not going to be sold your information anywhere. You know, it's not going to be on, you know, any kind of calling list. It's just me personally. You're filling out my page and uh, you're personally going to get emails from me and my system. If you have a sales funnel, which I definitely believe is important. So if you don't have one, you need to think about getting one and you need to learn how a sales funnel really, truly works. Um, that's very important these days with autoresponders and capture pages and you know landing pages and squeeze pages I mean there's so much that goes into that and you want to constantly keep your people in front of the information see in sales you know me being in sales my whole life I understand that the average person needs to see your information between sometimes five and seven times before they make a sale um, so now you know he so basically we got him to fill out the information and you're telling him exactly what's going to happen now. Now, John, you're about to watch your video that talks about the exciting products that our company has. Um, it takes about 16 minutes or so, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a call in 20 minutes. John, uh, will you be available in 20 minutes? Usually, most people say yes. Uh, if they say no, then what I would do is I would again set up another time where they have time to actually watch the video as a whole and you're able to call them back again we're playing to win we're not playing on their terms we're playing on our terms so once you do that you're gonna call them back and that's what we're gonna talk about in the next video but I just want to give you a couple quick steps to help you get more conversion to whatever page you're trying to get them to or whatever capture page you're trying to get them to fill out again number one you're gonna ask them are you in front of a computer number two if they are in front of the computer you're gonna give them the email address or whatever I mean the address where they need to go to you're gonna give them that address or that capture page whatever it might be and you're gonna tell them that you're gonna go ahead and fill out this information and then it's going to take you to this next step. Next step, you're going to tell them exactly what's going to happen. Uh, number three is, you know, hey, you're going to watch this video. It's about 16 minutes long. I'm going to give you a call back. You get there okay? Great. So all you're doing, you're just politely telling people what they're going to do. This is the last thing I would say, you know, do not leave the destiny, in a sense, in the prospect's hands. See, this is what most people do. 
you know, they call somebody, they're on the phone with them, they're excited because that person wants to maybe look at their information or they could just be blowing them off in general. And they're like, yeah, you know, so what, what email address would you like me to send that to? Or better yet, you know, I can even text it to you, like if it's your friend. How many times have you done that and those people have never watched the video? And now you're constantly calling them and now you become almost like a telemarketer or, you know, somebody that they despise now. And I've seen people lose friends because that person would not look at their information. There's 330 million people in the United States. Do you think there's somebody out there looking for a business in these times? Yes. So again, do those short little steps and I hope that uh, that you listen to it over and over again and I guarantee if you do those steps you will get more conversions and more people in front of your business and they will actually be able to make a decision and that's the next video so tomorrow I'm gonna actually show you the exact keywords that I say when I'm on the phone with a prospect and how to make them make a decision that day again you don't want to be wasting your time with a bunch of people on the phone who don't have any money so there's a big key right there I just gave you so again I thank you for your time live life like there's no tomorrow and again we'll talk uh, you know and have plenty more tips for you again this is Joy McDermott from the Global Mastermind Group I appreciate your time check out my blog refuelmymlm.com thanks God bless